Many a time have I said this, but there are no bad guns in Phantom Forces. Sure, your opinion may vary. Maybe you just really hate the, uh, I, I don't know, the, the FAMAS or something for some reason. But generally speaking, everything can be used and used well. Typically though, when I say there are no bad guns, I get the usual, oh, so you love the boxy buster? Are you a GB22 man? Comments, and I, I, I don't count these. These are not real. But yes, unfortunately, they are technically guns in Phantom Forces, horrid and vile though their existence may be. But I want to use some of these bad guns. And is it possible to make them usable, maybe even good? Stick around, and we just may find out. So whenever I'm talking about bad guns, just to clarify, I'm talking about obvious things like the Boxy Buster, which does, like, zero damage. The Zip 22, which has a little bit more of an opportunity to be able to do damage. And things like, uh, hold on, just give me a second. Yeah, let me just, uh... <laughs> forgot about that. Anyway, uh, things like the GB22 as well, which are also things that do no damage. But typically things like this, for the most part, are going to be just like single shot like this. And usually what they'll do to give a little bit of a benefit to it is they'll give it a really high headshot multiplier, in this case, 10. So the question of can these be good really begs an answer. And I'd like to find out if we can. Uh, can make them good, that is. I've also got a secret bad gun that I'm going to go over later on in the video as well, so stick around for that. Honestly, I think I'm just going to start with the GB22. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know a better place to start. So basically, if you don't know, the GB22 is like a single shot little 22 caliber thing i guess I, I i hesitate to call this a gun and basically it has like an instantaneous reload like this which you know that's pretty cool i guess but the only purpose for this as you can kind of see there is uh, <laughs> you kind of require headshots to get kills 20 maximum damage 15 minimum 1.0 torso multiplier uh yeah that's uh <laughs> That's not great. But we do have that 10 times headshot multiplier again, so, you know, maybe good. Drop-off is, uh, I don't think that bad. I'm trying to see, but I'm struggling to see down, uh, if you can call these iron sights. Yeah, I mean, drop-off is doesn't seem that bad from a decent range. So all that I've got to do is I got to find a head, and I have to left-click on it. <sighs> this is going to be a long video. <laughs> Whoa, okay, all right. Oh, there we go. I got to kill. All right, I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. <gasps> Another victim. Yes, and another headshot. This is, uh, I'm not sure why he's not killing me, but this is, this is proven to be quite difficult. Hi. Hi. Please just die. Okay, 55 damage, I guess. Well, as you can see, it's going to be quite difficult. So what are some ways that I could maybe improve that? Well, for one, there's a nice little handful of conversions here that we can look at. So there's a 10 millimeter auto conversion, which brings up a little bit of damage here. There's mini shells, which basically turns this into a shotgun. Uh, I don't even want to think about using this. All right, let's give it a try. Ooh, okay, all right, all right. Nine pellets point blank does seem to do the job fairly well. 96 assist, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. I'm gonna be real, this looks kinda cool. This can do a maximum of 288 damage right here, which means that basically if I'm able to hit like a third of the shells, I'm able to be guaranteed a kill, which if you look at the spread, uh, actually might be a little more difficult than I thought. Okay. You know what? This has got some pretty, pretty decent actually like single shot damage. I am not too disimpressed. Disimpressed? Is that even a word? I don't know, but I'm having fun with this nonetheless. We've also got one that anytime that I talk about the GV22, people are like, dude, you've got to try it. Which is, of course, right here, the 50 AE conversion. Which, if you don't know, is what the Deagle XIX fires. So, of course, looking at the model, it still looks like a really tiny little 22. Which is, you know, fine, I guess, whatever. But we should be doing a lot more damage. I, I, I was not expecting a one-shot out of this. Two one-shots? Can I get maybe three? No, I have to I have to actually land the shot, don't I? Yeah, may, maybe just a little bit. So 60 up close damage, a 1.7 torso multiplier. That's pretty high. So up to 80 studs. As long as you hit a torso shot, you are guaranteed a kill. That's kind of crazy. 80 studs is like this far. That that's 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 pretty good. I come to think of it, I think this even uses the Deagle XIX sound. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm right about that. There's a cut down barrel for this? What what is what is the point? We can also modify it a little bit like this and uh, you know, do with that what you will. <gasps> no. There we go. I have no idea how that was a headshot. I don't know how that one was either. Or, wait, no, that was a normal shot. Okay. I got scared there for a second. Honestly, though, GB22, like, it, it's it's a garbage gun, but whenever you throw in some of the conversions for it, it's really not that bad, and I feel like it's uh it's definitely unique in that regard. So next up here, we have the Zip22. Uh, this is generally a very bad gun, <laughs> I would say, but you have a lot of people in the comments who are like, oh my god, I love this gun. Ever since I've unlocked it, I've used nothing else. And uh, then everybody clapped, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. But generally speaking, the Zip22 is just a, a pretty garbage pistol. It was a garbage pistol in real life, and it's a garbage pistol in Phantom Forces too, and that is exactly 
exactly the point of it existing in game, I guess. It has very bad damage at range and close up. Even if you throw on a hollow point, you're only getting a maximum of 18 damage instead of 20, like I would have hoped for. So it's going to basically take like seven shots point blank, no matter what you do with this, which is problematic whenever you realize that it has a 10 round magazine. <sighs> So can we make it good? So 10 rounds really isn't gonna get you very far whenever you have a standard size magazine, but if you have a 51 round magazine, then what? There you go, there's your kill. Ooh, there's two kills, not bad, not bad. I lied, it's very, very bad, and um, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty painful to use. You do get a 2.8 headshot multiplier, so you can do three shot headshot point blank, which is not bad. Well, no, it, it, that is that is really bad. You shouldn't strive to have that as a, as a secondary. And really the only benefit that I can see is the thousand RPM fire rate, because basically it allows you to shoot as fast as you can click. So if you're somebody like me, you can click like this. Yeah, that... <laughs> <laughs> that was difficult. So, you know, do with that what you will. But uh, really, there's no real point to the Zip 22 that I can see, except for maybe the high fire mode and if you had a macro. <sighs> so rest in peace, Mr. Zip 22, because alas, we move on to the Boxy Buster. So finally, here we are at the Boxy Buster. We're talking similar damage a little bit to the GB22, if I can uh, go back to that real quick. It's hiding from me. It, re it really doesn't want to be found here. There it is. So yeah, it goes from 20 down to 15 on the GB22 to 25 down to 15 on the Boxy Buster. But it's the same general concept of a single fire weapon. You fire, you really load and there you go that's that yeah, i'm shooting up to the left but that's okay and pretty much the whole premise of the boxy buster is it is a nerf gun both in game and real life this fires nerf darts and the drop off is very very heavy honestly i'd be surprised if you could even hear this really it's it's extremely quiet to shoot also similarly to the gb22 you, you are going to have to land headshots to be able to get a kill with this. Otherwise, you're going to be doing basically zero damage. Because we do have a 50... <laughs> a 50 times headshot multiplier. Also, three times torso multiplier, so that's cool. That's, uh, that's something. But we can, believe it or not, make this better. And that is with the elite darts conversion, which requires you to get 100 kills. And no, you cannot just buy the elite darts. The Boxy Buster is, to my knowledge, the only weapon in the entire game that you cannot buy attachments for. So if you see somebody with, like, freaking, I don't know, like, an, an like an anti sight on this thing. They had to naturally get 5,600 kills. That must be exhausting. But the elite darts takes us up to 30 damage with a minimum of 20. But the elite darts takes us up to a minimum of 20 damage and a maximum of 30. Meanwhile, having a 4.0 torso multiplier and a 50 times headshot multiplier still. Though muzzle velocity is cut in half, and I bet you probably the way that the drop off is is worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. And I got to look all the way down just from this far away. So pretty much what you're going to have to do is be right up in somebody's face and get a torso multiplier to be able to actually get a kill is semi reliably. And if you're wondering, yes, elite darts was an absolute pain to grind for in itself. What are these guys doing? They're literally just, they're just standing there. They're just letting me kill them. Oh my God. You know what it probably is? This probably has no suppression. So they don't even realize they're being shot at. No way. Now I'm not going to question what it is. They're putting inside the elite darts to make it, uh, to make it like this because it is probably a very illegal nerf gun mod and we don't want to do that. And really, if I expect to get like a cross, like I don't, this isn't even cross map. This is just like a normal distance. Um, I'm going to have to get very lucky that this man walks into my bullet, which is, <laughs> obviously not gonna happen funnily enough we can actually attach a rail to this somehow and put a uh, sight on this so not that it's gonna help because like you can see if i shoot the wall from this far i have to look all the way down there so you don't even get to see where you're shooting the red dot does nothing for you <laughs> oh elite darts really did me dirty there 30 freaking assists no way so get ready to camp those stairs or to aim 30,000 feet in the air look at that look at that I have to aim up from this far. It's like a foot in front of me. But yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's very goofy. Personally, the Boxy Buster is one that I'll say I, I genuinely do like, and not because it's fun, but because it's just kind of like a goofy nerf gun. Like, it's not meant to be anything. And the fact that I have a real-life one is pretty cool, too. But realistically, this one is... <laughs> It's very painful to try and use this, though whenever it does work, it works very, very well. And of course, whenever the enemy doesn't even know that you're right next to them. <sighs> now for the mystery gun that I was talking about earlier, that would be the advanced coil gun. So for one, yes, I'm talking about the secondary, not the primary, because the E-gun definitely has its moments where it's like, uh, you know, it, it, it's something, I guess. I, I bet there's probably a weird fan base behind it too, so I, I hesitate to anger them. Which of course we can drag all the way down to one point five damage i i, I why <sighs> so let's bring the fire rate down as low as we basically can and, and let's just go from there so five pennies at a time because this is the penny conversion oh yep that's 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 what we were hoping for here that was a uh, surprising uh <laughs> 
That was a surprising kill right there. That man must have been on straight up Roblox life support. Hopefully Roblox got that free healthcare to cover the costs. Obviously, you can see all the hit markers, you can hear all the hit markers, which are louder than the pennies being fired out of this. And obviously, we're not going to be able to get a kill, because why would we be able to? <gasps> surprising double? Surprising double? Let's go. I'm very surprised at the amount of kills I'm able to get with this. Why? Why is that able to be done? Someone explain to me why that is able to be done. Stolen flag? I don't think so. Me and my penny bullets have something to say about that. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. So, obviously, maybe point, point blank. Like, you're talking literally, I guess, 37.5 studs. Uh, like, up to that point, you're going to have to hit a lot of bursts. But it can be used. However, can we make it better? Yes. Yes is the answer. Because if we do a combination of the heavy discs and the home defense setup, we're talking 35.84 damage at a 2,500 fire rate uh, in a five-round burst. So, point blank, it is guaranteed to be a kill. Point blank being up to 25 studs. <laughs> It's a little bit louder now. Basically zero recoil still though, obviously. Ooh, should have looked at distance damage there. That took an awfully long time to kill that guy. But as you can see, it is also able to kind of shred at a little bit of a closer distance. Though I'm noticing a distinct lack of uh, ammo. So <laughs> mm, not great, not epic. Another burst. I'm, I'm surprised at how many headshots I'm able to get with this. I don't know if that's because of the spread of the weapon or if that's because I'm just getting lucky here or what. Yeah, there's a couple more. Not a kill, though. And now that I'm officially out of ammo, I'm going to have to resort to the AUG A3. Which, yay, AUG A3. Ooh, I don't know where anybody is. Everyone's just kind of looking at me for some reason. All right, very cool. So what did we learn today? We learned that some things that are actually pretty bad can actually be pretty decent. And it kind of goes back to what I said at the start of the video, where there are really no bad guns in Phantom Forces. In every capacity, there is going to be something that you can use in some way that'll make you be able to play pretty decent. Because in a certain way, everything in this game has its own purpose even though that some of the stuff can be similar sometimes some of the stuff can be really uh weird everything can be usable as long as you put your heart to it and that's the that that, that that's the message speaking of message it's time for a message from our sponsor me i am literally a one-man operation i edit i record i do everything by myself and sometimes it can be a little bit time consuming sometimes it can be a little bit stressful but i make this content for you guys and if you've been enjoying the video so far consider subscribing and if you really like the video consider becoming a channel member for as low as a dollar a month it'll help to contribute to the channel a little bit more and and you'll be doing a great service to helping me out. Also, if you'd like, you can hit that thanks button below as well. It's not required though, but if you do, that would be greatly appreciated and it'll be a huge help to the channel. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hope that you enjoyed the video. If you're new, subscribe, join the Discord server, all that cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Peace.